This is a normal healthy mouth. You can see the pink gum tissue. There's no bleeding. The tissue is hard. When air is uh, blown on the gum, you can see the stippling effect between the teeth. As opposed to this patient where the gum tissue is red and irritated at the collar, where the plaque is a film of material of different colors, yellow, ivory. It's a slime layer that uh, is commonly found in the mouth. This biofilm or mass of bacteria is completely normal. It's a normal process that cannot be prevented. But on the other hand, the plaque, if left to stay there, will take food particles and break down the sugars that are in the food and cause the acid to form. And that will end up irritating the gum tissue as well as eating away at the teeth. When it affects the teeth, the first stage often is a white decalcified area, which will dissolve and underneath it, the softer tooth structure will be found. Here you can see that the plaque is truly a fairly good size layer and the extent of it is really shown as we take an instrument. I like to tell people to use a rubber pick to go along the gum line just like that after they're done brushing to see if there's any plaque that they missed. The procedure that I often recommend for people is to floss their teeth first so that the food uh, and the particles are out of their teeth and the plaque is disrupted. And then they brush their teeth with the, either a rubber cup or a brush and then come back and use a rubber pick to check. Here's a decalcified area that was white and that the enamel uh, was, has dissolved and there's a cavitation or a cavity that has formed and that brown area is soft, and we will uh, go back and put a filling on the tooth there. We will go ahead and have an illustration of how to remove the plaque using a rubber cup. And the rubber cup is really very uh, nice. It's the same instrument that the dentist uses in their office, or the hygienist. And the nice thing about a rubber cup is it forms to the contour of the tooth and then it also allows the patient to take the rubber cup up underneath the gum line and in this particular case there will be some bleeding because the person has a, a case of gingivitis. The gum tissue uh, has not been uh, stimulated for quite some time and you can see the rubber cup being pushed against the tooth and the contour of it so that the tooth becomes nice and clean and that the plaque is removed. Now there's very little toothpaste used in this illustration and it's very important for people to understand not to use a toothpaste with a high abrasive content. Toothpaste that have a lot of uh, abrasivity will cause the patient to lose enamel and will actually make their teeth darker, particularly some of the higher abrasive whitening toothpaste, which initially will remove some of the stain of the person's teeth, but if they, as they remove enamel, they'll actually be showing the darker dentin that's underneath the translucent enamel. In this particular case, this is tartar, where the plaque also will adhere to more and that the patient has had the tartar there for a while and the gum tissue is red and the case has gotten more severe with this particular person. Whenever there's any condition like this, the person needs to see a dental professional and have it taken.